In today's video, we are going to be talking about this knife right here. It is the Lion Steel Kerr. Now, this knife has been around for several years. It actually won Knife of the Year in 2016. Um, and now, Blade Show Knife of the Year, a lot of times they look at some, you know, different design elements and, oh, what's the new thing? And that's probably what happened here with this knife. But I've got to be honest with you, I think that this knife has definitely stood the test of time. Being several years old, it's been around for a while, and it is an absolutely fantastic knife. So let's get into it a little bit. Let's talk about this knife and a little bit about why I think this makes such a great knife and something you might enjoy. So first off, it is from the company Line Steel, and you can see the logo right there. Line Steel is an Italian company, and they make some really high quality knives. Um, they make both modern folders as well as traditional folders, um, but their traditional folders even have a little bit of a modern flair on a lot of them. Uh, this knife in particular is a liner lock knife. It has a flipper tab, and for a flipper, this, hopefully that comes across on camera, this just absolutely is a gorgeous flipper, makes that nice thunk sound when you open it up and just a very impressive um, response that you get from it it is a very smooth flipper uh, now again and i've talked about this in the past videos i don't like blades that are completely drop and this one does not it holds and i like that because then again i can put my hand in here uh, you know i'm not going to end up cutting myself but it is very easy to slide and it flips right on down the steel on this blade is Sleipner steel, and it's not a real common steel, but it is a, a very high quality steel. Um, you know, the, probably the the biggest drawback to it is you do have to be careful making sure you you keep it clean, you keep it dry because it can rust, but it's not terrible. You know, as far as as far as that goes, it does have some rust resistance. It is um, you know a fairly easy steel to sharpen um you know it's not too soft but it, it, you know i i sharpened this knife several times i've had it for a lot of years and every time i sharpen it it really i'm pretty happy with how well it sharpens so definitely um you know happy with that now if we look a little bit closer at the knife it is a liner lock design with g10 handles the G10 on this is not like most G10. So G10 is typically a uh, material that, yeah, comes on lower end quality knives. But this G10, there's just something different about it. And a lot of what's different about it is how well it, it is machined. So you can kind of see, hopefully it comes up on camera, okay, that it definitely has some very nice milling to it. It has rounded edges throughout. It is, you know, contoured for, you know, just being able to hold it in your hand. It has good grip to it. And overall, it is definitely a very nice G10. Um, and I would dare say better than almost any knife with G10 handles. Um, so I am very happy with the G10 on here. It also, you can get this in some different types of wood. There are multiple versions of it. You can get it in several different colors of G10. But overall, I think you'll be happy with either one, the G10 or the wood. Either one's a really high quality product. If we take a look at the inside, there actually is, and I apologize guys, because this thing's pretty messy, but <laughs> hopefully you can see there is, uh, it may not come across real long camera, but there is some milling out even of the G10, um, you know, so not necessarily a lot because G10 doesn't weigh a lot to begin with, but there is some milling there. This does have, we can take a look at this backspacer. Everything about this knife is, you know, fairly high quality. They have done a really nice job of rounding all the edges on this backspacer. And so it really makes it nice, comfortable knife in hand. Again, they did the same thing with the blade. Um, it is rounded here on the edges and it is really, really nice. The pocket clip is one of these spring clips and this is reversible. Uh, you have to actually remove the 
backspacer to flip it around, but you can flip it to the other side. And that's nice for a knife that is a flipper. It is nice that it is reversal for anybody who wants to be able to carry it right-handed or left-handed. There are no thumb studs, so you don't have to worry about that. It is only by deploying that flipper, which again is a fantastic flipper design. Um, it runs on some ball bearings. The If you look on this side, you can actually see they've, they've got a little, and I like this pivot head here. Um, it's almost like a little bit of a triangle, but you can see they, they've kind of shown you, oh yeah, we run on bearings on this one. And you can see with every one of those um, pieces, they have that same kind of design, runs all the way through. The other side, and I believe, I remember these are T8s for the pivot, and then the T6 for these other screws here below. Um, in hand, I think this knife is fantastic in hand. No matter what way I grip it, it really is just a fantastic knife in hand. Definitely can use this for some hard uses. Uh, as far as the liner, it is a steel liner. Lockup is right around that 40%, maybe 50%, and uh, maybe hard to see on camera, but it lockup's great. There's really no blade play to speak of, um, you know, no concerns with that. And, and again, I think this the knife is absolutely fantastic. If we take a look at it, <clears throat> the blade is just under three and a half inches for the cutting edge and they do give you that nice little sharpening choil which if you sharpen your knives that is very nice to have that there uh, i think more companies should do that overall length is right around eight inches if we close it up it is a little over four and a half inches closed almost five inches um you know as far as closed so it isn't necessarily a small pocket knife but it is you know a, a, a substantial tool uh you know it definitely has the ability to use some power cuts with it and you know if you're looking for something that's going to hold up and maintain this definitely has done it for me another nice feature here is you see on the liner lock they even added milling right here and this is just the kind of stuff that you, you kind of gotten to the point where we expect these types of things from lion steel and really from a lot of the italian knife makers they just do a great job with that fit and finish and this is no exception to that rule the uh, weight on this is about five and a half ounces so it, it's not necessarily a real light knife but again it rides comfortably in the pocket that spring clip is a deep pocket clip so it's going to be riding really well deep in there you're not going to have to worry about this falling out at all overall i think this is a fantastic knife I'm not going to give you guys any comparisons with this knife because in my mind they're just i don't have anything that i enjoy quite like i do with this it's right around 160 dollars. sometimes you can find them as low as 150 for the g10 version and you know, the wood version is usually around 160 to 170. Again, depending on where you look at, I will leave some links down below for you if you want to purchase this knife. Uh, if you do, I think you will absolutely love it. It really is a fantastic knife. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more future content.